everyone welcome back this is andrew and if you're here to learn more about cryptocurrencies so more fud going around and i'm seeing people freaking out a little bit because the price of the omi token keeps going down on a downward trend and even after the last drop it has continued to go down and it's freaking a lot of people out so i want to kind of give some perspective on this and also kind of just wrap up the the first season of the vv drops to see how bright our future really is with this token so as you may have known and may have seen and hopefully were a part of the kripkins drop was potentially going to be their last one of season one they said it was going to but then they say there may be one more um, on may i believe 14th before season two starts on may 20th so i'm going to assume that this was their last one and because of that i wanted to recap just season one and all the drops that vv did and you know see what big names we have and especially if they say we're haven't even gotten started with their licenses and big names to come i'm so excited for the future and i just want to put you in a place of contentment if you're invested in this company that you know we have a really bright future ahead of us with this so if we look at season one it first started with the batman black and white series there was the very first series of the black and white that was number one they mixed in some other the the series there was four series total but we had batman as part of this first season we also had the the harley quinn batman series as well adventure time there were two drops the dc bombshells the powerpuff girls unicorno i'm not familiar with it but i see them selling for a lot of money right now so congratulations if you got one of those back to the future the delorean the one that we were all waiting for to really see the first really animated ones which is really neat to see ghostbusters the two drops uh ultraman two drops and then the very last one of the season one were the kripkins and i gotta brag a little bit i got my first ultra rare kripkin and i'm excited it's, especially it's only 15 bucks only 2800 of them were dropped on this series but once again if you're worried about the health of the company, this Kripkins series, I think sold out in under 20 minutes, which is just crazy. So, and also too, I mean, if you're, you know, they've opened up the market, they've shut it down to optimize it. But during this first season, we were able to see the market open up and the secondhand selling start. And from what we've seen is, you know, of course not all of them, but the very potential of this of where i believe the highest selling thing so far was the ghostbusters i believe it was that um, silver logo of the ghostbusters i believe it was confirmed to have sold for thirteen thousand dollars now think about it they were expecting to be at fifteen thousand users by this point they're over i believe a quarter million right now now if you got any one of this season one this very first thing by the end of the year, they should easily be over a million users, hopefully a couple million. And, you know, if we're talking two, three years down the road, we're talking several million that are a part of this app. Now, if you were the, one of the ones who got one of these where, you know, they only drop 2,800 or 5,000 or even 9,000 of them, and now there's 2 million, 3 million people trying to buy these on the second market, I can just see these prices going huge right now. So... I know you're worried and I know you're worried about the price dropping. No one wants to see their investment go down in price, but this is what happens in crypto. It'll go up and then it's not uncommon to be to go down about 50%. If you're not okay with this, this is the wrong game for you. It's okay. You can go put your money in, a, in an IRA where you are hoping to get an 8% return year over year. If you want to look to double, triple, quadruple your money, then the opposite can happen as well. And you gotta be okay with that risk. So I think the project of Omi behind it, the team behind it, everything about them screams that we're having a very successful future in our hands and this short-term downward trend will not be lasting very long. So if you haven't seen it as well, I believe it's uh, Jake Gagain's uh, YouTube channel. He did a, uh, a webinar with uh, the new 
uh, I believe the content creator for Vivi, his name is Trevor. And that gave me a lot of insight on just what Vivi is doing, kind of their, their roadmap in terms of con content tr creation and just what's possible down the road with their NFTs. I'm not on the development side of things. You know, I'm just a fan, uh, an investor in this stuff. So it was really cool to hear some of the technical things that, you know, what's possible and really what's not possible with NFTs. This VV verse that everyone keeps talking about is really exciting. You know, Trevor's explanation of just how much, you know, we can go and how far we can go with this stuff is really cool, especially since he came from the gaming side of things. Now, they didn't bring this up um, or it wasn't in the plan, but it sounded like Trevor got excited about this when they talked about, you know, expanding the gallery and expanding, expanding like, I think, I don't know if it was Jake or, you know, one of his followers that made the suggestion or had a question about it, but how cool would it be if it, you know, along with the show gallery, that there can be actually a store and where you can have your own store to where I can come walk in your store, whoever can come walk in your store. You have your collectibles there, you have the price you wanna sell it, and I can buy one of your collectibles right there as I'm like looking in your showroom. So where I can offer a price to you or something like that. So I thought that was a really neat concept, but you know, really just, if this was season one and this was their first initial before, you know, a ton of people got onto the app, and now we're talking about season two where we have, you know, more exchange listings, plural, you know, uh, possibly a Binance, possibly another decentralized exchange, things like that. Uh, you know, some of the big names that they haven't even released yet and even the big names that they have already released that we're expecting to come in season two, like Star Trek, Jurassic Park, possibly the NFL will be starting in a season two. I'm super excited. They're growing at an exponential rate. And I think that our investment is gonna be pretty secure for even years to come. So I hope that cleared things up. I hope that gave you some perspective. I just wanted to sum up the first season because you know it's easy to, to keep looking and say, what's next, what's next, what's next? But at the same time, what they have accomplished in this first season and in terms of the number of drops they did, plus the, the exponential growth that they did during this season is going to be hopefully three, four time fold on season two. So thanks a lot. Leave the questions or comments in the comments below. And if you want to get these videos as I make them every week, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend.